Hey everyone, MythicJ here with another video. This is another story time video. I hope everyone's enjoying this new change of pace because I'm probably going to do this uh, daily now. I hope everyone doesn't mind. Anyways, let's uh, go jump into the topic. So I wanted to talk about the time I dove into developing games on Roblox. This was around June of 2019, I remember, when I got my Windows computer. Before then, I actually used a Chromebook, and if you know, Chromebook does not run Roblox, it can't run Minecraft, <clears throat> bad for gaming, I would say. So I was stuck with this Chromebook for a long time, and I did have a tablet of my own to play Roblox on, but it was super laggy and it didn't have access to the Roblox Studio. And I was really, 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 I was really passionate about wanting to make games on Roblox, so anytime I would go to like a friend's house or something like that, I would hop on, the, I would log into my account, hop on there, hop on the Roblox studio and make my own games. And for the longest time, that's how I mainly developed games. I remember one of my very first uh, actual games was known as the Island of the Forest of Oof. I know, that's a bit that's a bit of a tongue twister, but don't ask me, I don't know what I was thinking at the time. So it was basically just one of those games, just a just a little terrain thing. It was me basically just spurting my creativity everywhere. It was um pretty charming. Everyone really liked it. I think it got around one hundred visits, mainly because people kept on rejoining it and rejoining it wasn't that, it was just really a mixture of free models and whatever I can come up with. I actually managed to have a story on it and a fan group. Barely anyone joined the fan group, I'm pretty sad about that, but issues pa it passed. And I used a lot of free models, like I said. So, uh, I didn't make an, uh, other games before this. One of my other first games was actually around 2018, known as Admin Testing Read Description where I would just put Cole's admin and HD admin in. At the time, I didn't know how to script, uh, like I said, so I just put free models in the starter place. Don't blame me, okay? Okay, please. And it was a game where me and the boys, me and my friends would all go in, go in uh, the game, and we would just play around with admin. Now, here's the thing. Now, I don't add random people on Roblox now, I think you know the whole cyberbullying issue probably confirmed that. And if you're watching this, by any chance, if whoever like who's ever insulted me in the past, congratulations, you made me feel bad about myself. But we're, we're not here to we're not here to rant about that. <laughs> That's over. I'm talking about that game was actually pretty fun, but I had to discontinue it for some reason. The scripting just broke. And people barely even visited it anymore. This was, I remember, 2018, and 2018 was a pretty bad year uh, for me personally. So, Roblox was a really nice change of pace for me. Um, yeah. And I remember I had a lot of games where I would, oh, I would plan out this and that and this and that. I would have a bunch of games, and I would say, oh, this is Jay's this, this is Jay's that. So, I would, for example, one game I planned on meeting was just free models of gift wraps. I don't know what I was thinking. Don't ask. But anyways, it was <laughs> it was just a game where I would put a bunch of free models in it and I actually never really got to those projects. I'm not a big scripter and developer anymore. In fact, I quit. Why did I quit, you may be asking? Well, this was a big surprise. I was getting hate because oh, look at that. You're just doing free models. Like come on, man. I was I was I was just showing my creativity. Cut me some slack, dude. Like, cut me some slack, bro. But, eh, that issue passed. My Some of my games got dislike rated for some reason. I'm not gonna dive much into that, because that issue is passed, and I don't not like to linger off of my past issues. One really successful game was this game I made called Rooms. So, Rooms was this game where, you know, instead of like an escape room game, yeah, it was basically that, but it was super basic and just meh, kinda, in my opinion. I know I'm being harsh here, but come on, I have to be critical. I have to be critical in these situations, man. Like, there is no way not to be so critical in these situations, bro. 
So basically, it was just find the hidden wall. You like had to touch the walls, and then you would go through one, advance to the next level. I have a friend, a Roblox friend, who was actually very nice, who um really liked that game. So shout out to him. Um, let's see here. I never actually collabed with any devs except for FemScript because currently I'm the project manager for some of its games. Very, very proud of that. Very. That was actually generally my some of my experiences with um developing. Another thing I remember is most of my games weren't that successful. They were just little knickknacks I like to put just randomly because I had a lot of creativity. One of, one, of, one of my games, though, my testing ground is still alive, where I just test a bunch of scripts. This is more of a recent one. My parents liked it. Some of my uh, friends liked it. So I guess that was the only real successful game that's still here to this day. Well, that's some of my experiences when I dove into developing games on Roblox. I'm MythicJ, and I'm MythicGon. See you guys in the next video.